Hey guys, we're Mark and Catherine, and we just returned from Oregon's Wallawa Mountains, and we're so excited to share with you our favorite hikes, food, and adventures. Located in the Eagle Cap Wilderness near the town of Joseph and named by the Nez Perce tribe that once lived there, the Wallala Mountains are often referred to as the Alps of Oregon. From hiking to stunning alpine lakes or riding the steepest gondola in North America to paragliding off Mount Howard, the Wallalas are one of Oregon's best kept secrets. Let's start this video off with the hike to stunning Aneroid Lake. Your 12 mile out and back hike begins on the East Fork of the Wallala River Trail. The first two miles, which are somewhat damp, narrow, and rocky, gains 1,300 vertical feet. You'll come to a dam which supplies water through the powerhouse located near the trailhead below. When we were there, we found ourselves suddenly showered from above for about a minute by 20 mini pine cones. I don't know what it is, but these pine cones, these have all fallen on me in the last 10 seconds. There's another one right there. <laughs> oh! There's one. What the heck? Oh, there's one. Oh. <laughs> After another couple of miles and 1,200 more vertical feet of climbing, you'll cross the East Fork of the Wallawa River. Continuing further, the trail flattens out and climbs more gently out of the timber. We really enjoyed this part of the hike because after four forested miles, you suddenly find yourself in an open meadow with multiple streams meandering through the lush landscape. Two miles later, beautiful Aneroid Lake will come into view. When we were there, we found an amazing campsite on a point overlooking the lake with stunning views of the mountains as a backdrop. Mm. After that seven miles we've gone, 2,000 feet up, here at this beautiful lake, this is possibly the best pizza in the world. <laughs> the light rain falling on the water was a serene view we will not soon forget. Now we're on the steepest gondola in North America the Wallala Lake Tramway. At $40, tickets are not cheap, but it's by far the best way to get fantastic views of the Eagle Cap Wilderness. If you're visiting in the summer, be sure to get there early to avoid long lines. Your exciting 15 minute, two mile ride will take you nearly 4,000 vertical feet to the peak of Mount Howard. At the top, at an elevation of over 8,000 feet, you'll find two and a half miles of hiking trails, which will take you to several amazing overlooks. So here we are at the top, 8,150 feet. We have all the beautiful mountains behind us. Mount Howard is also a great place for paragliding. When we were there, there were multiple pilots embarking on their flights back to the valley floor, eventually landing at the south end of Wallala Lake. After visiting all the awesome viewpoints, we couldn't wait to get to the Summit Grill located right next to the tramway. Their outdoor seating area is a great place to have lunch over live music, enjoying the spectacular views before heading back down the mountain. Next is one of our favorites, the hike to Hurricane Creek Gorge. We drove up Hurricane Creek Road mm -hmm. and we're at the Hurricane Creek Trailhead because we're gonna hike Hurricane Creek Trail. No way. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> way. <laughs> Party on. <laughs> You'll start your six mile out and back hike at the Hurricane Creek Trailhead just outside the town of Enterprise. I'm filling out a permit just on the off chance mm. we go missing. You'll follow Hurricane Creek and after hiking less than a mile, you'll come upon an area where the landscape was destroyed by an avalanche. We found it so cool with large areas devoid of the usual vegetation. Instead, it's covered by downed trees, all scattered like toothpicks. A couple miles later, the trail climbs high above the small but spectacular Hurricane Creek Gorge. I wish we'd get down there. I don't think there's a way. <laughs> well, there's a way down there, but it's not a way back. We were blown away by the cold alpine runoff rushing over multiple colorful waterfalls set deeply between the narrow rocky walls of the gorge. On the upper edge of the gorge is the equally spectacular Slick Rock Creek, which starts high in the mountains and which cascades down the mountainside in what looks like a natural rocky half pipe, making this one of our favorite areas in the Wallawas. Now we're back at our camp at Wallala Lake State Park, a large campground set on the shores of the lake. We're getting pretty hungry after our long hike, so we hopped on our electric scooters and traveled four fun-filled miles along the lake to our favorite restaurant in the town of Joseph, Ember's Brewhouse. Their outdoor patio overlooking the main thoroughfare is the perfect place to relax with a beer, 
in the shade discussing your most recent adventures, enjoying some of the best pizza you'll ever have, and we give it our highest recommendation. Oh my gosh, I love this pizza. It has olives and pepperoni and green peppers and Canadian bacon. Yeah, so How's that good. Crust? The ranch. Yeah, gosh. it's like you're all set. Yeah. Mm hmm. Kind of mm. light and airy. Mm -hmm. So good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Ember's Pizza. Don't get the salad, get the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Next is the hike to the base of Chief Joseph Mountain. This can be hiked as either a 15 mile out and back hike or the alternate route a more difficult but shorter 10 mile loop. When we were there, we chose the alternate route which begins at the large parking area next to the lake. We knew it would be hard, but we weren't quite prepared for how agonizingly difficult it would be. The trail climbs very steeply, straight up, gaining 1,000 feet of elevation in what feels like a never ending mile. Yeah, this was our easy day hike, <laughs> which is straight up. I think we just climbed 600 feet of elevation so far in about <laughs> a third of a mile. So it's pretty steep. I mean, we're already up to the there's the tram over there that we went on the other day, and there's the lake. At the top, you'll intersect the Chief Joseph Mountain Trail, where you'll continue through high mountain meadows with amazing views of the mountains above and Wallawa Lake below. On your way down, you'll cross the recently constructed bridge over BC Creek with fantastic views of the creek and waterfall. Continuing on your hike, you'll cross the Wallawa River and come to a viewpoint above the magnificent waterfalls in the gorge below. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out some of our other cool videos. That road was a little sketch. I almost blew out a tire, but luckily yeah. I didn't. It was just a pothole.